Early this morning in Prince George's County, three people shot, one of them killed, and now a neighborhood is on alert. A police chief is working to curb the frustrating trend of violence. Our Max Marcillo is joining us live in the studio with the latest on the investigation. Now, Max, what is the city's police force trying to do just to cut down on these incidents? Well, we'll start with the investigation, actually, because we really don't know much more than we did this morning. Publicly, no word of motive or suspects in the shooting that took place just after 1.30 this morning. And neighbors of the Forest Park Drive neighborhood, they are worried. It's not safe to be out here late at night. I usually try to get in the house, you know, before too late, especially at this time of the night when the incident they said had occurred because you just never know. People just start shooting and sometimes just for no reason at all. More heartbreak in Prince George's County. Just days after a shooting at Iverson Mall, this was the scene in District Heights. Police surveying the area in the morning after three people were shot, one of them killed. And innocent people end up getting, you know, uh, getting hurt as a result of it. I want to feel safe if I'm out here or if my kids are out here playing. District Heights Acting Police Chief Ronald Tarpley knows the trends. According to data published by the PG County Police Department, there have been 64 assaults with a weapon, shooting assaults, or homicides in the District Heights zip code since the start of 2021, the second most for any zip code in the county. Well, we have stepped up patrols uh, here in the city as well as the county has. Um, People are officers working overtime, um, longer hours, uh, to do more visibility. Tarpley says that includes more traffic enforcement, he says, can lead to arrests of people carrying concealed weapons, and he has a message for those who feel unsafe. Uh, hold on, reinforcements are coming. Police reinforcements, but Tarpley also hopes for help from community members. Because most people who live in a community are ones that are doing harm to their own community. So when a community starts holding their own members accountable, you know, then we can start holding the justice system accountable and for it, for it. Now, detectives are still looking for answers as to why this shooting may have taken place, and they are asking anyone who may have information to call Crime Stoppers, uh, Crime Solvers, that number, 1-866-411-TIPS.